everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and happy bookish merch for readers. As you can probably tell, we are um, not in the studio today. We are on the road, on the way to the path of totality, going to see the solar eclipse. Um, my boss, thank you me, gave me the day off today. We are where we live. We are like three and a half, three hours or so away from <laughs> sorry gps um three or so hours away from the path of totality so we are driving up to vermont today and i was like you know what this is a very like not so normal work week so i was like i'm gonna bring you guys along with me while we go watch an eclipse so we've got mom here she is driving us up there we've got where are you, Chris? We've got Chris in the back seat. <laughs> he got off work to be able to go. So we're heading. The gang's all here. Yeah, the gang is all here, except Toby. He had to stay home. But we are heading up to see an eclipse. And what makes today even better is that uh, Sirius Radio, through the whole month of April, has a whole channel dedicated to Taylor Swift. So poor Chris, we have Taylor Swift playing the whole way up and the whole way back. That's like six plus hours of Tay Tay. So I've been rocking out. I got my heart glasses on. We are having a great time. So let's go see an eclipse. Okay, so we just got into New Hampshire. However, the sign snuck up on me. I didn't see it. I was going to film it, but I missed it. So we're in New Hampshire. We have one more state to go to get to Vermont. We are on like some back roads right now, but are we trying to get to the highway? Is that what we're doing? Well, we are. Yeah, we have to go up to New Hampshire, take a left to get to Vermont. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so we are currently at a standstill because of the construction. Love that for us. So, miniature game of I Spy. Ready, guys? I Spy Something Brown. You're here. No. Ooh, good one, Chris. Woods, trees. Thank you. Let's look. Let's this is literally what we are <laughs> surrounded by right now. It's just all trees. We are literally in the middle of nowhere, New in Hampshire, on a back road in a traffic jam. <laughs> Don't they know there's an eclipse going on? <laughs> Getting nowhere fast. <laughs> My phone also has SOS, so we literally have no service. The radio has no service whatsoever. Satellites aren't working. Sirius radio isn't working. It's a great time. It's a great... Are we having fun? We're having, We're having fun. Chris, are we having fun? Emily, are we having fun? We are having fun, people. We are having fun. You just almost put the window up on my face. Oh, Jesus. Is that me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm so used to doing the windows. Okay, so we finally made it to the highway. We are moving. All these people are going up north. We have uh, about two hours left to get where we want to be. As of right now, we are supposed to arrive at like 12.20. The... Partial eclipse starts, what is it, like 2... 215, like that. Like 2.15. The total eclipse starts, well, yeah, totality starts at 3.28. Yeah, 3.28, and it lasts for a minute and a half, and it goes to about 3.30. We've timed this out. We are ready. We got our glasses. I even have a photo filter to put over my phone to get pictures to show everybody. So we are making our way up. So far, so good. No traffic. Fingers crossed. I can't cross my fingers. There we go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so I took my glasses off because my mom said you'd probably want to see my eyes. So <laughs> she's hitting my arms. <laughs> now you look like uh, Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. <laughs> These kind of are very Minnie Mouse esque, I think. So here's my eyes, everybody, what? in case you were Isn't missing cool? them. And there is a what is this ski area. ski area up? I don't know if my camera can see that because it's a little bit far away. But here I am. Tracing you with my presence. <laughs> A 
Okay, so um, we are on the highway now, but um, it is gridlock traffic at this point, <laughs> and we get on here, and the, Jeep, and the GPS is like, stay on here for 100 miles. <laughs> so this is exciting. Can you see but, the traffic um, behind us? Oh, you can't. Through the window. You can't, you're no. going to lose the front um, But thankfully, it's only showing red for like major traffic for like 15 minutes, and then it's back to blue, should be okay. And we're moving slightly. So that's good, but we shall see. Okay, there is a dog with a tutu on in front of us. We just stopped to get gas. There is a little tiny dog with a tutu. I repeat, a tutu. And it's hot pink. It is a dog. Okay, so we have arrived at a location. We are at a Comfort Inn. They are selling spots for you to buy a parking spot to be here. So we found a parking spot. We, what time is it? Do you know what time it is? It is 1.30, so we have like 45 minutes till partial eclipse starts and then well over an hour until total. So we're gonna be here, ooh, bug. We are gonna be here for a little bit, um, but I won't be filming during it because I don't have a filter for my main camera, but I will take pictures on my phone to show. Okay, so we are set up here at the Comfort Inn. We found a bench to hang out on. So I have this photo filter for my phone. No idea if this is going to turn out well, but I also have my glasses here. Um, and it started already, so it's like, was it like a tenth covered maybe at this point? But it's really cool. <laughs> well, this is different than mine. Okay, we're running. Let's go. Go for it. One, two, Glasses. three. Go. Glasses on. <laughs> Still waiting. We are probably about halfway. What time is it? It is 2.45. 2.45. So we're getting it. 45 minutes. <laughs> Chris is excited. <laughs> are going to get their jackets because it is getting colder because we are losing light here the sun we are probably three-fourths covered at this point so we are almost to totality <laughs> I can see the cameras if I look underneath. <laughs> what a bomb. <laughs> oh, but I'm so my mother brought a colander. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Well, we're supposed to see little half moons. Where are we oh, going oh, 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 yes, to... Where? To the where? 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 the circles. What? It's I'm not seeing any. Okay, I zoomed so in. Low. Where are we? What? Maybe. No. False no? alarm. Okay. False alarm. I got excited. <laughs> right, let's try this one. We have two colors. <laughs> Look how dark it is. Oh my gosh, look. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I've ever that seen in my amazing. entire life. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Such a cool place. <laughs> you can still see it. Let's here we go. <laughs> Amazing so it was really really cool because you're leading up to totality and I think it took just over an hour to go from the partial eclipse to totality and like as you're getting closer to it it's getting darker and darker and darker and it got colder and even Chris had to put a jacket on which is very telling because he never gets cold and he never needs a jacket and it was just wild because as it got darker like the street lights came on around you in the parking lot the birds stopped chirping everything got so quiet so literally the only word I have to describe for that is otherworldly it was so cool didn't even feel like I was like sitting on earth watching this it was so cool so cool and my pictures do not do it justice not at all but it was amazing okay friends i think i am going to end today's segment of the video here we are about an hour and 20 minutes away from home the traffic really isn't as bad as we thought it was going to be so that's amazing but before that i just wanted to show you a little friend that i got so at the comfort Inn, they had a little gift shop in there and i saw this little moose and i was like i want a souvenir so i got a little souvenir it doesn't have anything to do with the eclipse it literally says comfort Inn and sweets on it but you know what i got it to have that memory of the eclipse and i named her eclipsia so this is eclipsia and she wanted to say bye so we're gonna go pick up dinner and then I will see you guys for tomorrow. We will be in the studio packing quarters. Bye. Let's see if we can find Chris. There is Chris. There he is. Good morning, guys. So we are back in the studio today, as you can tell. And I am just so exhausted. Yesterday turned into like a 12 plus hour day. So like our drive up there was supposed to be like about three, a little over three hours. I think it took over five hours just to get there with all the traffic. I mean, what is the movie? I think it's uh, Deep Impact when the big meteor is coming and it's going to hit the earth. And it's like that part in the movie where one side of the highway is just filled with cars and traffic going one way, but there's like nobody on the other side. That's exactly what it felt like yesterday. The whole road going north was just full of cars, license plates from all over. And the other side of the highway, there was like one Z, two Zs, barely anybody. It was so, like, surreal. Not eerie, but it was just weird because it was just, you just felt like you were just part of something. Like, we're all going to the same place. It was so weird, but it was cool. It was a cool weird, a good weird. And it was just like, I don't even know if I could, I, I know I tried to put it into words yesterday, but it was just like, I had thought like, okay, we'd be good staying here in mass where we had like 93% totality. But let me just say, if you ever get a chance to go somewhere where it's 100% totality, you have to do it because it is nothing like anything you will ever experience. Like even being in like the 90s something percent totality literally doesn't even come close to what the 100% experience is like. That was the most magical, otherworldly thing I've ever scene because you're just sitting there and you're watching and it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and then when your glasses go completely black that's when they say you're able to take the glasses off and you can safely look when i took my glasses off 
I literally felt like I was looking at like a scene that you'd see in like Avengers, Star Trek, Avatar, some sci-fi fantasy movie because it it was wild. Like it's pitch black around you. All you see is the sun, like the moon and that like this this black circle and just light beaming out from it and like this blue hue venus was over here stars were ever it was the coolest thing like i know i showed you guys pictures my pictures don't even do it justice it was just like <laughs> honestly the most magical thing i've ever experienced in my entire life and i'm so glad we drove up there for it it was un real it was i'm still beaming over it but um today i have to try to go back to work after having such a magical experience i'm like dragging my feet today i really i've been like having a very hard time the past few weeks i'm feeling like very burnt out so my uh, mom is trying to figure out a way she can like work into her schedule to like come in and help me uh a bit more often because one, I need some more help down here, but two, I've also been feeling like with just being like something that I don't think is talked about a lot as a small business owner. I mean, there's a lot of small business owners who have employees or have people working with them, but when you're working by yourself, you get lonely. And I've been like having a lot of issues pretty badly lately with feeling very just like this soul deep loneliness. And I'm trying really hard to work through it like, because that's another reason I like to listen to audiobooks so much while I'm working is it's like a human contact with hearing people talk and have a story and it helps but of course nothing comes close to like having someone here and obviously I can't hire anyone from outside of the house to come in to work because of my health issues and needing to mask and everything which I don't really want to wear a mask in here every day because then I couldn't really do these videos so that's out of the question so really just leaves my mom or if my stepsister ever wants to come over to help so that I got two people so um and obviously Chris has a full-time job so he's gone all day so um I've kind of just been struggling with burnout from pushing myself to keep go go going while feeling just really lonely and just a lot of like depression lately it's I've always struggled with that but it's kind of like reared its head again and I'm trying to work through it talk with my counselor to see what I can do to feel to see any coping mechanisms to help me feel better so I've been trying to like get out on walks and like change up my routine to like I don't know so we are in the studio today and we are going to be packing orders. We have probably like a medium amount of orders to pack today. And I think tomorrow I have to look at my to-do list, but at some point this week, I have to start packing up the a April, yeah, April, not May, April monthly bookmark and sticker club sets. Um, those have to ship this week. And yeah, so that is what we are doing this week. This coming Thursday, we are having a uh, book sleeve restack the spring ones so right now i'm going to i think i only have to make one sheet of magnetic bookmarks and then two things of sticker sheets and then we are going to start packing all those orders <laughs>
so I am actually almost done packing orders. Like I said, we didn't have like too much to do today. I have this amount of baskets left to go over and pull some, I think it's mostly like book review journals and notepads that I need to get. And then uh, we just have to pack these orders and then uh, we are done for the day. <laughs> We are all done packing orders today, so I am gonna get these shipping labels bought and I will see you guys tomorrow. morning friends and welcome to Wednesday morning here in my studio today we are going to be starting to pack up the April monthly bookmark and sticker clubs the bookmarks finally arrived so I can finally get those starting to get packed up if you couldn't tell from a couple seconds ago from seeing the designs the theme is road trip through France and I really have like a lot of fun doing these like travel sets I think the first one I did was a couple years ago I just have so much fun like going on Pinterest and like researching like different tiny towns and different countries and I've been wanting to do a theme dedicated to France for a little bit and I was like okay so we've got Paris and then I have always heard so much about like the lavender fields and then Colmar so came up with this set and uh, we will be starting to pack these up today. Usually it takes me, it really depends. If I'm like powerhouse, like super speed mode activated, I can get things done in two days. If I am my usual kind of feel like a sloth, but still productive self, it can take me up to like four days to do. So we will see how much we're able to get done. I am having one of my um, migraine days today, so not sure how long we're gonna be down here, but I'm going to try to get as many packed as I can because I wanna start getting all these shipped. And something I'm very excited about for this time around for the clubs is, do I have a, hold on. Ever since I first started doing these back in 2021, been a while with me doing these. I designed these little thank you card inserts that go in every single club that you get and it's like thank you put your name for being part of the stick sticker club or bookmark club. This month's theme is and I would write out what the theme is and then it would just be like a little thing about like thanks for joining this club. Yeah and for the longest time I've been wanting to really just revamp this and do something totally brand new and also change things up a bit so that I can still write everyone's name because I really like to personalize your orders 
but so that I didn't have to keep writing this month's theme is because my hand gets tired after <laughs> doing all those, especially if it's like a long name, like road trip through, like ro see, I can't even say it. Road trip through France, writing that like 300 plus times is a lot. So I designed some new ones. So these are going to be the new thank you card inserts. I have to change the colors around on the main things because otherwise I'll confuse like which one's the bookmark club, which one's the sticker club. But so what I'm going to do, this one design is it's going to be like welcome to the... <laughs> you know what I just realized? So you know how I'm packing up the April monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. What does this say? What does this say? It says March. It's not March. You know what? Minor detail. I will just post something on my stories and yeah. See, I made the template for this in March. But I didn't start using it for the March ones, and then when I went to do April, I... <sighs> okay. Wow. Anywho. That will be the correct month going forward. <laughs> I will put... So it's gonna say, welcome to the club, and then your name. And then down here, it's gonna... This, is, this part is gonna change every month, so it's gonna say what the theme is, road trip through France, and then like a little paragraph or two about the theme. And this one will be the sticker club. It'll have the same information here, but it'll just say like, welcome to the sticker club. And the correct month will be done going forward. Can you tell I was probably exhausted when I was doing these? <sighs> okay. Anywho, um, I'm excited about these besides the incorrect month. That's workable. We'll just... Too bad I don't have white out. <laughs> okay. Anywho, um, yeah, so we are going to be packing up the clubs today, and that is literally all we are doing all day. I am currently still listening to Powerless, the audiobook. Loving it. It's giving, like, major Hunger Games vibes, and I'm so here for it because I love the Hunger Games but it's more romance which is what i wanted like the hunger games had a good amount of romance but i wanted like more more than it already had so i love this it's so good it's an amazing book i cannot wait for the next book so that is what we are doing today and let's get on to it I cannot believe i did that i just ran to tell my mother i was like mom <laughs> but she being mom always comes through with the best top tier ideas and she's like why don't you just say april fools and i'm like so she's up there right now writing up a little insert to be like april fools played a little april fools day prank on myself but haha -ha, you're receiving the april club not march so um she's amazing and she is printing out about 400 and she's going to be cutting those for me because i have to start packing so love you mom Thank you so much for your help with this. I cannot believe I did that. Oh well, could have been worse. <laughs> Here she is, the savior. Yay, April Fool. <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna be cutting all those. We have like 380 we or so to tons. cut. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Mom. You're, very You're the best. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so Mom just got all these cut. We, um, this is her idea, so 
<laughs> everyone is going to get this as a little insert because in, it says welcome to the March Club and it's supposed to be April. So it says April Fools accidentally played an April Fools Day prank on myself. Oops. And wrote the month as March instead of April. Enjoy and happy reading. So, yeah. And my mom was like, you know, this is probably the only month you can pull this off. Because there's no, like, December Fools or August Fools. It's April Fools. So it worked out great. Can't believe I did that. But to be fair, since these are, like, a brand new thing I'm doing, I'm not used to... I mean, I never buy custom ones for the club so i'm not used to having like to change every little thing so now i know to remember so i'm gonna have to make sure i remember that going forward but now we are good to start packing whoa <laughs> these headphones like greet me every time i put them on and it freaks me out every time because i'm not used to <laughs> okay um all right audiobook and packing orders So I'm taking a little bit of a break, not a lunch break. I probably, I probably should, but um, just a hangout break. But I wanted to um, give you guys a little bit of an update for what I'm planning for my upcoming birthday sale slash launch. So usually, what I do every year is I do like not like a big, but a good size launch slash sale on my birthday. So it'll be like new magnetic bookmarks, new stickers, stuff like that, and then I'll do a birthday sale. I used to do like the sale amount, like percentage off was what my age was. But then as I kept getting older, I was like, okay, I can't keep doing this. But for this year, I'm thinking because usually I have the sale only run on my birthday. I get up, post about it in the morning, go on with the day and it lasts all day. But this year I'm like, you know what? This is a big birthday this year. This is a big milestone birthday. I kind of just want to get up and enjoy my birthday and not have to worry about business on my birthday. So I think because my birthday's on a Sunday, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is actually have the sale and launch start on Saturday. So it would be, my birthday is April 28th, but I'm thinking April 27th and the 28th, it'll it'll be running both days, like the sale. The new stuff will be up for good 
but I'm thinking of having the sale start on the 27th and last through the end of the day on the 28th. And I'm like, you know what? We should have it be a two day thing anyways because it is such a milestone birthday. I don't have like every product that I'm gonna be including finalized yet, but it's gonna be some magnetic bookmarks. It's going to be, I think a few stickers, but then the other thing that I'm gonna do is, I thought this would be the perfect time to, I was gonna see if I could hold it up and show you, but I don't have them over here right now. I am finally going to be listing all of the new planner sticker sheets that I showed you guys a month or two ago now on here. So those are all gonna be included with my birthday launch and they're also going to be included in the sale. So they will be on sale love a good sale and that's going to be all the brand new sticker sheets it's, it's going to be sticker sheets where it's designs i've always had but on the printed new quality paper and my brain is not braining right now why is my brain not working i redid all the sticker sheets so they have a new look and feel some of them are designs i've had and then other ones are just brand new so we're gonna have a lot to choose from there's gonna be a lot of sticker sheets so that is uh, will be coming up on April 27th and lasting through the 28th. I will have more details for you guys about like what's all going to be included. Probably be in the next video because uh, we're going to be prepping for it in that video and I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me while we get ready for that. So I just wanted to give you a little update while I'm on my break here. So that's my update and I'm going back to work. Okay, my friends, I think that is all we are going to get to today. So, let's see. We ended up packing up this many, so did pretty good today. Got um, more packed than I thought I would with um, my migraine, so that was good. So, uh, yeah, that is it for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, you did bring him down. Literally right when I saw We got a visitor. We got a visitor, Toby's here. Hi, everybody. Hi, Annie. <laughs> Look who we've got. Toby. Hi, Tom. Tom, say hi to everybody. He's like, oh my gosh, what's <laughs> going on? His little head's like, what's here? What's here? Is he here to hang out? Yeah, so much to look at. All right, you got a buddy for a morning. All right, we're going to have a buddy today. All right. Hello, everybody. Good morning. So, little fun fact. I had actually started filming yesterday morning to have a filming day. However, um... Like I mentioned, I've just been having like a really hard time lately with like depression issues and um, it'll like, it'll like show its ugly head every, every so often and it's like choosing now for some reason. So lucky me. So I actually didn't end up filming yesterday. So you're not going to see the little intro clip that I filmed for yesterday, but I'm slightly feeling better today so and it's friday so i have to oh, hi toby Sorry, he just jumped up oh, he was in the swivel chair he's like swiveling around so mom and i thought it'd be a fun idea to have him hang out in the studio just to kind of cheer my mood up a little bit because he always seems to help so and he's getting into literally everything what are we doing i love this little guy anyway so um before yesterday i had spent here he comes hi tobe what are we doing? Come here. Tober Teen, come here. Come here, my love. Here he comes. Hi, honey. Here, come here. Ooh, big boy. Here we go. Hello. So I had spent um, two days ago drawing for the botanical collection and I got so much done like I finished two whole illustrations oh here we go <laughs> I finished two whole illustrations and then oh, I excuse me I I Tobe <laughs> I apologize. And I was able to do um, a daily planner pad. I was able to do 
um, some t-shirt designs, some mugs, so I was eight, ah, hold on. Well, I now mom's voice. here too, everyone's I'm here. <laughs> Leave it to mom. I'm over here trying to talk and Toby's walking in front, <laughs> hit me in the face with his tail. Um, did you want these ones first? Sure, you can just put them there. They're just um, restocks. Okay. Thank you. you. Still want him down here? Yeah, you can give them to me if you want so he doesn't go out. We need something behind that door so he doesn't open it. I see so much out there. It's a whole new world, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little head. Come here. All right, here you go. <laughs> okay. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. So as I was saying, um, I got a lot done for the botanical collection. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? Jeez. <laughs> And <laughs> this is why I like having him down here. It's never a dull moment. So I got a lot done for the botanical collection. And that makes me feel a lot better about it because I have been feeling very behind when it comes to doing it because it's a lot of artwork that I'm wanting to do and the days keep passing and I keep not getting as much done on it as I want to. I'm finally reached that point where I'm like, okay, I got a good bit done. I can kind of like see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm feeling really good about getting artwork done for that. So I will probably in the next video or two be showing you guys um, what I've been working on. And also keep an eye on social media channels too because sometimes I'll share like quick sneak peeks in my stories or like the actual artwork as like an Instagram or Facebook post or something. So I've been working hard on it. So today we are continuing to pack up the April monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. I was, like I said, I was supposed to um, be also doing this yesterday and you know how mental health can get. Sometimes it just uh, decides to take over and you need a mental health day. So that's what yesterday turned into be. And then another thing, because I was so preoccupied yesterday that I totally forgot. I was supposed to pick up wedding cake tasting samples yesterday for Chris and I um, totally totally slipped my mind so I called the bakery this morning they're like yeah you can come get it today so I'm gonna have to get that at some point today and this is actually going to be for our rehearsal dinner because we want to do a little rehearsal dinner cake and then a separate wedding cake but the wedding cake is gonna be the different baker that's up in Maine where we're gonna be getting married and this would be like a smaller cake and that's even if we're gonna go with this place because with my allergies, I need things to be like gluten and dairy free. And the w the only offerings they have for a gluten and dairy free cake is it has to be a chocolate interior. And I don't really want a chocolate interior cake. So my mom is like, well, maybe I can make it. So we might just taste test to see what we like. So I don't know, but Chris and I really wanted to try it. So we're gonna give it a try to see if we like it. If we do, we'll end up going with them. Anyways, for the majority of today, we are packing up bookmark and sticker clubs. So, you ready, Toby? All right, he's ready.
Okay, so I was able to get this much packed today, so about a hundred done today. So pretty happy about that. So that is all we're actually going to be doing today. So that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I'm actually really excited to kind of finish up and go edit this video now though because I've been wanting to go back and put together like all the footage from going up to see the eclipse because it was just such a fun day. So I am very excited to edit this video and put it together. So I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be kind of a different video because it's not every video that we're going up to see a total eclipse. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me. Just a reminder that my puzzle pre-orders for the two designs, Reading in the Meadow with the Mouse and then the Kitties in Love under the Moon design those are going to be open until this Saturday puzzle pre-orders are going to be closing at 11 59 p.m. on Saturday April 20th and uh, pre-ordering a puzzle is the only way to get one because I'm not going to be stocking them in my shop like year-round so if you're wanting one make sure to get your pre-order in before that ends and as always thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me I hope you guys are reading some amazing books and I will see you in my next video bye